guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an update in my Pan Those Eyeshadows Project Pan for 2021, and I am super excited to share with you guys that I have new pans this time. Last time I didn't have a new pan, so I ended up rolling in a six shadow because what I decided was if I don't have a new pan to share or a new shadow to roll in because I have a new pan, then I'll just roll another one in. And so I'm working on six shadows right now, but I have hit pan in two of them, so I'll be rolling in two new shadows to have a new set of six to be working on. So with that all being said, let's get into one of my favorite parts of these videos, and that is the numbers that I have up on my spreadsheet right here. So I still have 218 eyeshadows, 23 of those are singles, and 195 of them are in 12 different palettes. You can hear my little man down there, he's having a good time looking at his toys. I now have 17 pans, which means my pan percentage is up from 6.88% to 7.79%. And my eligible eyeshadows to choose for these two new ones is now 201 eyeshadows. So now that we've talked about the numbers, let's talk about the shadows that I've been using this past month or in February. So the newest eyeshadow that I rolled in is from this Sparkling Rosé little stack from Kaja and it is the third shade here and that's the shade right there and in February I only used this two times but I have been loving using it so far in March with another shade that I have um, in this project pan and I use this I'm actually wearing it today I wear it on the outer corner and the lower lash line it's just really pretty I thought it'd actually be more purple and it kind of pulls more purple on the eye but as you can see it kind of has like some brown reddish undertones here but with the shade Shade I'm pairing it with which you'll see I feel like it definitely pulls more purpley which I really like and it has a nice little shimmer to it it's a really easy shadow to work with so I've been really enjoying working with this the next shadow is from my ColourPop so jaded palette and I actually hit pan on it I was working on this one right here called diamond I used diamond an additional 12 times to hit pan on it. So I really like this one. I wore it all over the lid a ton, layered just on its own or under some other eyeshadows. And sometimes, sorry, he's just like, he's talking up a storm, aren't you? Um, looking at his toys. <laughs> Or I'd sometimes wear it in the inner corner too. Super pretty shadow, super shock shadow formula, so it was pretty easy to get through. And now I have a pretty decent sized pan in it. Next is this shade right here. This is Roxanne from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette Volume 1. I used that shade only twice this month actually. I ended up just not really grabbing for it. It's a really pretty like rusty brown shade which I'll swatch for you right now. I really do like it. I just for some reason was not drawn to it this month and so I only wore it those two times but I definitely will continue to focus on it. It's definitely one that I tend to put more in the outer corner or lower lash line just because it has a darker look but I have worn this all over the lid which I really like as well. Next is another one from a Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This is volume two, and the shade that I've been working on is I'm In It, which is this one right here. I love this shade. It looks white in the pan, but it pulls like a really purpley pink on the eye. You can kind of see it in that swatch there. So I've been wearing I'm In It all over the lid and then putting the Kaja shade in my crease and lower lash line, and that's been super cute. For this I'm In It shade, six times in February. And then the last two shades come from my Naked, Urban Decay Naked palette. And the first one is this shade right here called Naked, and I, as you can see, hit pan on this. I use this an additional 17 times in February to hit pan. And then the other shade that I'm working on is Creep, which is a super dark shade right here, so I've definitely not been making a ton of progress. I've worn this a lot as liner and I've done some of it in like the outer corner which I thought looked really nice. I wore Creep six times in February so we're making progress on that but certainly nothing fast. There's just it's going to take a long time to hit pan on that. So these are the four shades that I'm keeping in my project and now we're going to use the pretty random app and my spreadsheet to figure out the next two shades that are going to be replacing Diamond and Naked. Okay, so in the app, I have 22 through 222 because that's the spreadsheet rows. Um, and I'm going to hit randomize. And 201 is the shade selected. And then the next shade I'm going to do 
is 157. So number 201 also comes from my Morphe Jaclyn Hill Line 2 palette and it's this shade right here called Drama Queen. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited about this shade because it is going to pair, I think, perfectly with the Roxanne shade. And so I'm super excited that I added that in, especially because too, it's a shimmer, which I feel like I needed because I had some, I had like three pretty much matte. Number 157 comes from my Alamar Spanglish palette and it's the shade right here, Moy Excited. That's a super pigmented orange shade, which I think is going to be really cool to add to this combination as well. And so that is my new six shades to be working with for March. And I'm super excited about the combos that I'm going to be able to make with these. And I'm excited that I have a new palette in the mix too because I feel like I always seem to select the same ones. So these are the six shades that I'm going to be working on in March and I'm super excited to be doing so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.